What up guys, Jason Guyman here with King of Pressure Wash and tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can do, can you really do $1,500 a day? Can you really do $1,500 a day? Is there any way that you can do $1,500 a day, day after day, just spraying water and doing pressure washing? And What's brought me on to this is, is there's been a lot of comments I've been reading here lately in the Facebook groups, and they're all like, these YouTubers say you can do $1,500 a day, and it's not that easy. Well, I never said anything was easy. It's not easy. Running a pressure washing business is not easy. If someone is telling you that it's easy, then you're listening to the wrong people because it takes hard work, and it takes... It takes staying up late, and it's not like working a 40-hour job. It's more like working an 80-hour job a lot of times, especially in the beginning when you can absolutely get yourself going and rolling. And so I know I'm already on my tangent, but that's all right. And so with that, it is one of those things that I'm going to, is it a factor? Is it fact or fiction? Can you hit $1,500 a day? Can you hit $1,500 a day and do it five days a week, 20 days a month and make $30,000 just on one truck? Absolutely you can. And so with that, we'll, let's talk about who do we have in here and what's going on? How's everyone doing? Alvin was the first one in here. He put what? Hello, Jason and everyone how are you doing big time in the house mr george yost how are you doing what's up big rob how's for big rob from um new jersey absolutely you can what's up how are you doing scott ferguson what's up we got um we got uh joanna bell what's up how are you doing um jose <coughs> mr dan maddox um, it is a hundred percent facts, hundred percent facts. Um, heck yeah, you can. I've got a big home. I measured everything, including the deck. It comes to 4,000 square feet. I'm going to bid it at 4,000, but it makes me so nervous for some reason. I guess I'm worried she'll just say yes. And I understand that that is definitely a big thing that we have to worry about is if they're going to say yes. Hey folks, hope everyone is doing awesome. Can anyone explain to me why I'm getting lots of clicks but no calls on Google Ads? Um, I would say your landing page is probably not very good. I would say you may not have your negative keywords in properly, and it is Google. That's about all I can say about that. That's why I've been pushing more of the Google Guarantee than the Google Ads. What's up, Jason? 1500 and more than doable, especially when you have a Lindy in the house. That is right. Where's Pink Robin been? I don't know. Um, I finally did a premium, and they approved 240 commercial contracts on the table. All right. So let's talk about this a little bit. Let's talk about... Let, let, let's, let's, let's start out up here at the kind of the beginning a little bit. And so as we dive into this, I, you know, a lot of times I hear it in the groups that people are saying that you can't get $1,500 a day. And, and the funny thing is, is the people that I hear saying that, and I've seen them saying this. I know the people and some of them are in my area or area that I served. And so when I hear these things, I'm like, why, why is your struggle? And I, and a lot of it, I understand their struggle because I kind of know who they are and I know their personality. And so this is things that will hold you back if you're not careful. And so as a pref as a pressure washing professional, you know, I'm always intrigued by how people think and how people do and it's just, you know, it, is it really possible to do $1500, right? Some people will say yes and some people are going to say no. So since we're on here, 
And there's no way that, you, you know, the people that are like, there's no way you can do $1,500 a day. Um, it's just too good to be true. It's, it's not easy. And again, I never said that it was easy because running a pressure washing business or matter of fact, running any business is not easy. A lot of people think that it's just easy that, I can just go out there and buy this $20,000 rig and it's just the phone's going to blow up on me and I don't have to do nothing. And Jason said to go put yard signs out and I went and put out 100 yard signs and I got four phone calls and then the phone quit ringing and I quit putting out yard signs and I don't know why the phone's not ringing because you're not doing nothing. And when you don't do nothing, the phone's not going to ring. You know, I was putting out signs when I had four trucks running. I personally was still putting out signs. If you watch Sam Elst, he's putting out, he put out 200 yard signs over the weekend. 200 yard signs. Him out there driving truck, putting out yard signs. Why? Because they work. And he's going to do over a million dollars a year because they work right? He's not, is he doing other things? Sure. He is. Is he doing Facebook? Sure. Is he doing SEO? Sure. Is he doing all the other things? Sure. He is, but he's still got to do the little things that you got to make you do. There's no magic that you poofing. That's just going to magically make the phone ring by, cause you paid somebody. Even if you pay SEO, doesn't mean you gotta you gotta quit doing networking. That you can't you gotta keep doing the things that is going to get your business growing. And so this is why it is so important for this. Now, I know some of you thinking there's no way I can make fifteen hundred dollars a day pressure washing. There's just no way that it can be done. And so the thing that you have to think about is finding the right people to learn from. And I don't care who you learn from, but there's some people out there that started pressure washing last week and now they're making videos on how to make this money. And those people aren't probably the ones that you want to learn from, right? If you're learning from the people that have done $100,000, well, that's good. That'll get you to $100,000. If you want to learn from someone that's getting you that has gotten to a million, then guess what? I grew my business to a million dollars. I had four trucks on the road. And that's, you know, I always tell people, I can get you to a million. Now, when you go from a million more, then I may not be your guy. You know, I can get you there because I've done it, right? And I did it year, I did it for three years in a row. And so I can help you get there, but I cannot get you more than that. Or I probably got the ways to do it, but it's one of those things that who are you listening to? If you're listening to the people that have never done it or they say they do it online, but you look at their equipment, you're like, huh, there's no way you're doing a million dollars with that rig, right? You can see those people and be like, you do what? You know, I've got a YouTuber that's in my back door. He was literally my competitor. And, you know, he can't get, you know, I had one of my buddies, Al, up in, uh, up in Dayton. And he was like, man, this guy is really killing it. He's got four jobs a day, three, four jobs a day, and he's killing it. And I'm like, I bet he's not at $1,500 a day. And he's like, what do you mean? I said, because he's cheap. And if you want to be cheap, be cheap. And you're going to not make money. You're not going to get to the $1,500 a day. Why? Because when you're cheap, you can't get there. You can't do enough jobs in a day, answer the phone enough times, and get the phone to ring that many times to be cheap and to go after cheap customers. Because cheap customers are a pain in the butt. And that's just the way it is. So just be careful who you're listening to. No people. You know, if you got around the people with the right mindset, right? You get around people like Dan Maddox or or Lucky Linda, Lindy, they're the same, right? These people here, right? They they're doing their average tickets over 2 grand a day. You get around people like Tristan. You know how you get around these people? 
You join King of Pressure Wash every Monday night. The people that I'm talking about is on there. And you know what? I'm going to give you a little discount code today. And I know I'm I'm going to do it right now because you know what? I want to make sure that if you can grow your business, you got to grow your business. And I want to help you grow your business because if you're not growing your business, what are you doing? And so here's a discount code. It's it's um, the 17th is today is St. Patty's Day. And so this is the discount go. You go to KPW or King of Pressure Wash dot com and put in discount code 17. That'll give you 17 percent off. And that will help you grow your business because you get around people like these people here. Right. Tristan did over 200,000 last year. Lucky Lindy, they're going to do over 800,000 this year. You get around the people that will help you grow your business. That's the whole point of this. Right. And, and you might say, well, what do I get with that? Well, you get the membership. But the most important part, you get the bonus of of the Zoom calls. Come to the Zoom calls. That is where you learn. That's where you grow. That's where you get to those higher parts and how you get there. All right. That got me <coughs> off call there. All right. And then as we dive deeper into the world of high earning pressure washing, right, we explore the challenges and obstacles. What are some of the challenges that you have to not be able to get to that hundred thousand dollar mark how did that fifteen hundred dollar mark right how do you get to those places that you can't get to there because as we look at this this is the obstacles we got to discuss the common pitfalls right what's going to hold you back from reaching your income goals what is the one thing that's going to hold you back and you know what i would say most people that's going to hold you back is this thing right here mindset mindset holds more people back than you would ever believe because if you don't believe you can do fifteen hundred dollars a day you're a hundred percent right you're one hundred percent right if you don't believe you can do two thousand dollars a day you are one hundred percent right when i was on the truck five years ago six seven years ago now I was doing two grand a day before I started getting employees, but that was in 2014, 2015. I was doing two thousand dollars a day by myself, four jobs a day, two grand. My average check was about five hundred dollars back then. So I don't want to hear it that you cannot do it, and that's me driving around the greater Cincinnati area. I had an hour drive, and I agree a hundred percent mindset is everything because if you don't believe it that is the problem now let's address the elephant in the room what's the elephant in the room a fifteen hundred dollar pressure is it really possible or is it just a myth right so as i look at these real people in this room that are doing fifteen hundred dollars a day it's they're just real people there's no myth about it there's no myth about it, right? You got F-bomb. I know he does $1,500. Lucky Lindy, I know they're doing it, right? There's these people in here that you can do this, right? It's not rocket science, guys. It is not rocket science. You know, these are the things that can hold you back. And so as we look into this, what are the strategies do we need to get to to be able to get to $1,500 a day. Well, first you gotta get leads. You gotta answer the phone and you gotta get leads. You gotta get the phone to ring and then you gotta answer it. And this is a, this can be a hard thing. I get it. You're maybe doing, maybe you are <coughs> working on a side job. Maybe you're doing this, maybe you're doing something else. You know, this is what you have to look at to be able to get to $1,500 a day. It's really not that hard. Right. And so the, you know, so what we have to do is, is look at our lessons that we need to learn. And as we transform and we figure out the things that we need to figure out, this is how you're able to get $1,500 a day. You do this five days a week, you do it 20 days a month, you're at $30,000 a month. This is how you get to $30,000 a month. Um, and you know, this is my goal when I would have my trucks, four trucks, $1,500 a day, 
per truck because you got to. That's if you if you're less than that, you're not. Especially in today's age, you are not going to be profitable. You are going to go broke fast. And so this is why it is important that you do fifteen hundred dollars a day. Now, if you're a single person, there's no reason that you can't do two thousand or twenty five hundred because usually you can work faster than your employees can and it just works out that way. And so these are things that you have to think about as you're doing this, right? You can do this. You have to answer the phone. You have to figure out what lever that you pull on that will get the phone to ring. Because if you don't understand how to get the phone to ring, then we have a whole nother issue. You can have the nicest equipment. You can go buy a $100,000 rig and your phone not going to ring. You can go, you can have a $20 an hour rig and you do the right thing or $20 rig and you do the right thing. Guess what? Your phone ring. You know, I got a good friend. I haven't talked to him in a while. Mr. Greg, uh, Greg. Um, and so Greg Townsend, Greg Townsend started his pressure washing business. He was broke. It was in 2020. Everything shut down. He had no money. And so he went and started selling some pressure washing jobs. He went to his neighbors and got his um, 2.3 pressure washer out of the pressure out of the garage, and that's what he used for a while. And then he moved up, and now he's doing a lot better. But you know, it's not about the equipment. He sent me a picture that he would one day. He's like, one day you're gonna build me a rig, Jason. And I said, great, but. I said, go make money with what you got right now. And he had a 1993 Ford pickup with the pressure washer in the back that he was put pulling out on every job. And that's what he had for almost two years. And he was over, he's doing over $200,000 a year right now because that's how he's able to start and grow his business. And so this is how you're able to do it. Is it easy? No, I'm not. It's not easy. I promise you. <laughs> running a business is not easy. Is it worth it? Absolutely is. I think it's a hundred percent worth it. And so you've got to go out there and grow your business and do the things that you need to do to get your business growing. You know, Michael was one. I remember I actually did a video shoot. He posted this a couple of weeks ago about, um, I did a video about hitting a hundred thousand dollars. Michael's been in business for a long time and he could not hit a hundred thousand dollars. And you know, as I help people grow their business, one guy joined a mentorship. And so he doesn't, he's just starting his pressure washing business, but he does land clearing is his other business. And by him growing, by him starting his, um, land clearing business, he was only getting $1,800 a day. I'm like, how can I get $2,000 a day, $2,500 a day doing pressure washing with a $10,000 rig versus he has a $200,000 rig and they're only getting $1,800. I'm like, raise your prices, dude, raise your prices. And he's like, but Jason, uh, you know, first off, he's like, I'm booked out three weeks. I'm like, raise your freaking prices. Guess what? He's up to $2,200, $2,300. He's getting $2,500 per day now because he raised his prices. And so he's raised it. So he's gotten a $700 increase by raising his prices. He's still closing jobs. One day, he, I said, have a minimum. You know what? You don't show up unless you're at $1,500, whether you're there or not. Guess what? He showed up for one hour and made $1,500. I'm like... People will pay it. Get out of your mind that people won't pay it because when you believe that, they see it and you will never sell to them. You will never be able to sell them a $2,000 pressure washing job. And you might say, Jason, is that just a house? Because everybody's like, well, that's just a house. No, because we don't just sell houses. We do house washes. We do window cleaning. We do um, window cleaning. We do driveway cleaning. We do deck cleaning. We do it all, right? We do it all because that's how we get our average ticket up and if you get if you can get your average ticket up to $750 you only need two jobs a day to hit the $1500 $1500 times 5 times 20 you're at $30,000 $30,000 a month doing just spraying water 
which is amazing. And so it's not rocket science, guys. It's not hard, but you got to go out there and do it. And when you do it, you will find out that it is very rewarding, right? It is very rewarding to go out there and make it happen. So I'm actually going to send out that code for the membership right now. Um, so talk, getting back to, I'm going to get back to Michael here. Cause he put on here, he'd been in business for 16 years. I did this video about, uh, it might've been five or six years ago. I was walking around and he was complaining that you can't get to 1500 or get to a hundred thousand dollars. Cause he lives in an area where there's nobody down there. I mean, he lives in central Kentucky, um, Mount Sterling, Kentucky area. And, but you're pretty close to Winchester. You're pretty close to different places. And I'm like, dude, just, you gotta, you gotta raise your prices. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. You gotta believe in yourself because when you don't believe that you can get to a hundred thousand, you won't get to it. And I get it. If you have a poor mindset, if you were brought up poor, if you're on a $20 an hour job, $30 an hour job, making 60 grand a year, a hundred thousand dollars sounds like a lot. This is why I tell people that are already making a hundred thousand dollars plus I can get them over a hundred to 500,000 quicker than someone only making 20,000 or you know, forty, sixty thousand dollars a year. If you're making twenty, thirty bucks an hour, you're making you know forty, sixty thousand dollars a year. And so, as you do this, as you sit there and you follow the process, there is no shortcuts. If someone tells you there's a shortcut, look them straight in the face and tell them you're freaking lying because there is no shortcut. You have to follow the process. You know, the reason why I do the 26 steps to the perfect house wash and 90% of it is all marketing because guess what? The more reviews you get, the more phone calls you get, the more five, the more, um, the more five rounds you do, the more, the more, uh, phone calls you get, the more yard signs you put out, the more phone rings, the more jobs you get, right? And so don't worry if you're not closing every job. You're not going to close every job. You need to be about 50%. In fact, I can show you people that are making two, three hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, a million, and they're at 30% close rate because we don't want everybody. You can have a 30% close rate and make $800,000, but you can have a hundred percent close rate and you'll never get to a hundred thousand dollars because $99 jobs and, and $200 jobs, it's hard to get there. You know, if you're at a $200 average ticket and you can do four a day, you're at $800, right? $800 a day. Now that sounds good, but if you did that for 20 days, that's 15 grand. But the problem of it is you're going to a whole lot of jobs. That means you're spending more gas. That means you're spending more bleach. That means you're spending more time. And you can't keep doing that even at 100%. <clears throat> and even if you can just start raising your prices to get it to where you need to be at. I get it. It's not easy, but I want to tell you that you can do it. And I promise you, you can do it. It's just a matter of you got to take the whatever you need to do and make it happen. It's not going to happen easy, right? My close rate starting this year is 5%, you know, and so there is no shortcut. <laughs> the only shortcut that I know is the lottery. Good luck with that. Um, and so this is how you got to get that up there, right? Oh, look, Greg Townsend must've heard me talking about him. Somebody must've tagged him straight grind, straight hustle all the time. Short, cute equals short money, right? And so you got to go out there and get it. Now, what you can do when you are able to start your business, look, is it going to be hard, easy? No. Can you do things that you never could do before? Absolutely. You know, Greg, I was talking about you earlier, Greg, your ears must've been burning or somebody tagged in it. But when he come here and he was starting out, like I'm telling you, it was a 19, it was either a 93 or 96 Ford pickup 
all in the back with a 2.3 pressure washer that I think he got from the neighbor. And he grinded, right? He went out there and got it and got it done. And you know what? He's able to coach his son's football team every day at 4 o'clock, 4 or 5 o'clock. He goes and does coaching, right? He goes out there, and he's been clean for know, probably seven, eight years now, right? And so you know what else he does? He goes and helps other people get clean. Was he hooked on drugs? Yeah, he was. He was a great drug dealer. He, he, he used to make – I sent him a message. He sent me a message. He said he went from selling drugs to selling water. And so – it's something that you can do and it's not easy though. It's going to work. It is hard work. You might get burned out, but you know what? You can do things that you would never ever do. If you was working $20 an hour, um, clicking the clock. Right. And that's a great thing. And here's the thing. Don't be afraid to learn. Don't ever stop learning. I still learn today. I still try to learn stuff. I, 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 I learn every day. Every day I try to learn. Why? Because I want to learn. I want to grow my business. I want to help you grow your business. I want to learn the new things. What's out there new? What can I, we do? Is there different technology out there? What's what's out there that can help you grow your business? You know, I'm, I am going to go to New York next week, not this week, but next week, and help a guy build a trailer. And you know what? I'm going up there and we're going to put a gas pump on it. We're going to do all this stuff because he struggles with doing this. And, you know, don't let those things hold you back. I've heard people, well, if you can't build your own rig, you don't need to be doing pressure washing. Well, you know what? The person that said that also, can't. he probably is going to struggle to get to ever to get to $100,000. Why? He can build his own rig, but he can't do marketing and he struggles with all those other things. <clears throat> and so learn the different skills that you need. And it'll be amazing how you will grow your business, how you will be successful. You know, are you going to have ups and downs? If you're an entrepreneur, you always going to have ups and downs. There's going to be days that you're going to be flying high. And then there's going to be days that you thought the world's going to end. Everything broke. Transmission went out of the truck, flat tire, flat top tractor trailer, whatever it might be. Um, ran the <laughs> run the van into the garage door and knocked the ladders off and destroyed the ladder, destroyed the door. That's an employee for you, right? I've had that happen. But you know what? You just got to keep moving on. You got to keep learning. And it's amazing what you can do as you keep growing your business and keep doing the things you need to do. Brand yourself and become a legend in your area. All right, Greg, Wednesday night. <laughs> it's either got to be this Wednesday night or it's got to be a couple Wednesday nights away because otherwise Tuesday but Sun, or two Sundays away because I'm going to I am going to, um, shoot, I'm going to New York. So if anybody wants to help me build a rig in New York, Syracuse, New York, come on. I don't know. So with that, what's holding you back? And you all got questions. What's your all's questions? That's because I'm not cheap. And the biggest bid this year is for a hundred and four thousand dollars three-story restaurant restoration wood siding metal roof stain seal and window cleaning it's awesome my close rate is 40 percent um i tagged that greg laugh out loud <laughs> the only shortcut that i know is the lottery it's awesome our average ticket is well over $1,000. You know how you get over $1,000 average tickets? By asking for it. You got to ask. If you want a $1,000 average ticket, you got to ask $2,000. Because on average, you're going to get $1,000, right? And so you've got to ask for $1,500, $2,000. You know, Chris, Chris Johnson, he his normal ask is almost $4,000. Like he gets gutter guards. He does everything. The roof clean. He does it all. Um, ex, um, oxidation. 
removal. He does it all. And he gets his average and his average ticket right now is like twenty one hundred dollars because that's what happens. You don't get it if you don't ask for it. And if you don't ask for it, you can't complain that you're not getting it. Right? You can't get to fifteen hundred dollars on two hundred dollar house washes. You gotta get your average ticket up there to five to five hundred dollars at least. So that way you can do three a day. It's super simple to do three house washes, three house washes a day, maybe a couple of driveways to add into it. It's not that difficult. Throw in the exterior window cleaning with your water fed pole, you're done. It's not that hard, right? If you're charging 20 to 30 cents a square foot for a house wash, 10 to 12 cents for exterior window cleaning, $300 for the driveway cleaning, 350, guess what? We get that average ticket up there real fast. That's how you get that average ticket up. So then that way you're able to keep getting your average ticket over a thousand dollars. Look at the map at Albany, Washington, low average household income. And the lowest that I will bid a job is $700 and people pay it. And that is for a thousand square foot house. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jason Gaiman, I'm the highest in my area, so thank you. Good, you should be. Um, I think I'm ready for mentorship before the season truly kicks off um, up here in Michigan. We just put a bid in on a building for $2,700 or $27,000 composite debt. Yep, I was in Santa Claus, Indiana when I did gutter cleaning, sealing, sewer jetting, drain lines, dryer vents. Um, Old Faithful, 2.7 for the win. It's retired now. My truck was pretty bad. Greg's pickup was laughable bad. Yep, it, but you know what? It made him over $100,000. If I could, if if I load pictures on here, I would show you houses that I charge fifteen hundred dollars each, and I did a commercial job. I believe it. I believe it a hundred percent. I am thinking it needs to be eighteen hundred now. That with inflation, probably so. If um, I'm three jobs in the new year and already at a five made five thousand dollars. Just bid twenty seven hundred. What's something you shouldn't waste money on? That's a good question. What's something that you shouldn't waste money on? Um, equipment that you don't need. Shiny syndrome equipment. Chemicals. Um, I see a lot of people that go buy a crap ton of chemicals. They have no jobs for it, and they and they sit right. And so this is a common thing. You'll be like, oh, I need that, and go buy that a piece of equipment or that piece of um, that chemical, <clears throat> and that's that. it's stupid. I mean, it sits on a shelf. Jason bought $1,000 worth of chemicals out of Florida, and they sat there until he just moved out of his house. They were still on the shelf that he bought in the very beginning. And so those are things that you don't need that, you know now if you need them that's one thing discount code didn't work what about the link that i sent or i'll send that link again um see if that if that will work that way <clears throat> all right let's see i got some more questions down here um jason did you open a line of credit to get to one million no, I didn't, but I probably would if I did it again. Um, because there was a lot of times that cash flow got really scary. And so that is the times that I would consider using that for my cash flow. Especially in the summertime when we got a lot of commercial jobs. And so there's a lot of times that, you know, in June, July, and August, and you're doing a lot of commercial, you're not getting paid. And so you're kind of waiting on money. So that's why... I would consider doing it in that time. Um, you did some decks. Anything you know of that will neutralize dry out soap? Oil-based stain doesn't like to penetrate it well. No, I hate oil stains. <laughs> there ain't no easy way of doing it either. Um, no. 
closed 14 jobs on Thursday. That felt pretty good. That's awesome. And see, you don't have to be old to start a business. You can be young. Um, Nathan is young and growing a business and killing it. Everyone, please give a thumbs up. Transmission goes out in my truck. That's 10 grand. My oil changes is 400. That's me doing it. Yeah. Landscape lighting. Where should I learn what product? Mm. I don't. I know some of the landscaping stores have it. The the one class we had a while ago. That's probably your best to learn the actual Haven lighting. Um, it's not actual Haven. I don't know if they're going to do another class. I know sometimes Site One, a couple of them also do it, um, but that's kind of where they are. Greg, when you come on, bring us cooking recipes, not an SH one. <laughs> Um, may I ask a question? Yes, you may ask a question. <laughs> I'm wanting to get a J-Rod for my work, but I have a 2.5. Will it do well enough with that? You'll have to get the right tips for it, but yes, you can do it. And so the first two numbers of the tip is the spray pattern, and then the next two numbers, like it'll be 40 or 60 or might be 30 being that you're 2.7, is the orifice size, and that's what's, what's going to determine what you need. So I would call a pressure washing store, like I always use Russ um, down at Southside Equipment out of Louisville, um, but there's other ones, and just tell them the unit you got, and then they'll be able to get you a J-Ride for it. Thoughts on EDDM? It can work amazing if, it, if it's done properly. Um, you know, there is things that you got to look at EDDM. Do you, you got the right card? Do you got the right people? Um, you know, do you have the right offer? <clears throat> One guy in my mentorship, he did very well off of EDDM last year. That was his number one revenue driver was EDDM. Um, he was around a big lake, and he sent all those people around that lake, and it got him a, a lot. So, um this year he's doubling down and sending out twice as many as he did last year. And so that's what he's going to do. Actually, he might, I think last year he sent 10,000 and this year he's sending 30,000, I think is what it is. Um, I need my ticket up more, $400 more. You have to have high dollar tickets. Then tell the customer what you, you can offer and put together package deals. If you're not doing package deals, you're leaving lots of money on the table. If you're doing in-person quoting and you're not quoting everything and giving it a package deal, you're leaving so much money on the table, it's not funny. You have to do packages. Even if you're doing online packages. I did every house, got every house wash, got house wash, exterior window cleaning, and driveway cleaning. Every one of them got that, right? That's every house got those three things. Now, when I got into a roof clean, every roof clean got a roof clean, a house wash, and exterior window cleaning, right? That's a thousand fifty that's a fifteen hundred dollar ticket all day long because I never did my minimum for roof cleaning was six hundred dollars. And I went up from there. You should be fifty cents is forty five to fifty cents a square foot for those houses right now. And so, but my minimum was six hundred dollars. I'm not getting on a roof and risking my guys or my life to, for six hundred dollars and that we're killing a bunch of plants. And you know, that's exactly where I was. I'm on my first year. Well, you're doing very well then. Thanks for the super chat. Just dropping in to say hi. Um What's up, Mr. Joey? What's up, King of Pressure Wash from Joey Hodges Pressure Washing. Antmo, starting new. Biggest thing is finding decent businesses that would build a trailer here in Maryland. People will build them everywhere. Um, and you, you just got to go get them. Or go look on Craigslist and find all the ones on for sale. Uh, you don't tell a customer or let them know what you provide for them. They then they won't ask. What's the best way you found to get HOAs? One guy told me he used to tell them he would clean the concrete for free as long as every notice they sent out with his flyer. Um, I don't like doing nothing for free. Um, 
I did got a lot of mine through email marketing and through LinkedIn. Um, that's how I got a lot of my HOAs. I mentioned someone today, he has tons of talent. Lucas Dickin, if you're in here, speak up. Um, late to the party, working on the truck. $4,200 average ticket here. How Roof, house, driveway, windows. We explain the process with before and afters. We walk the property and explain in detail. You have not because you ask not. So that means you're doing in-person quoting. And if you're doing in-person quoting, that's awesome. You should be giving everything that they have. You're, you're helping it and you're getting it done. Don't waste money on surfactants. I would about half agree with that. Most people don't. The only reason why I like to use surfactants is because I like to see the bubbles when it's coming out of the gun. So I use very little, just enough so that I know that I'm soaping versus I'm not soaping. Uh, the rush has officially started in my area. Phone has blown up all weekend. That's awesome. That is awesome. There's that link I posted up there. Chemical equipment advertising doesn't, chemicals and equipment advertising doesn't work. No, they don't. This is Lindy, Facebook user. Yeah, Michael, I'm in here learning everything I can. <laughs> Uh, please hit the like button, everyone. What other questions we got? GMB on a rise the last couple of days. Good. Make sure that you're posting pictures. Make sure that you're doing your Google business post. Make sure you're trying to get reviews, man. You get those reviews that will help your GMB very much. Um, push for reviews. You got to push for reviews. Do everything you can to do reviews. And if you're not doing the reviews, you need to get your reviews. And so I had some review cards made up and I don't know what I did with them. Um, you got to get your reviews, right? If you're not getting reviews, you got to ask for them. I don't know what I did with my review cards. I had a bunch made and now I don't know what I did with them. Um, you got to ask for reviews. The more reviews you get, the better off you are, man. You get those reviews, it will help you out so, so much. Um, you'll be surprised how much those reviews will help you out. Landscape lighting, I can get you a contact. Miss Trudy. Jason, if you need roofers in Milton, Kentucky, let me know. Yeah, I don't know many people down there. Um, so the tornado came across um, Indiana, um, like Madison, Indiana, and then Milton, Kentucky. Milton, Kentucky is about 45 minutes to an hour from here. Um, when I used to work on fire trucks, I worked on the town right next to it, which is Bedford, Kentucky, and I would work on their fire truck down there. Um, what is appropriate concrete paint and sealing price, seal pricing? Um, I don't know about the paint side of it, but depending on if it's just concrete, a lot of times you're 30 cents to clean it and a dollar to seal it. Um, and so like DJ uses V seal and that's what he's sealing it with. And he's closing quite a bit of it. Again, you got to ask for it. Have you heard of Google checking in things? Lindy local is offering. It says it gives you pins on every job site you check in at thoughts um google check-in thing i have not heard that um but i do know if like if you take a picture of that job and you post it there it's got the coordinates which that helps you out um and so those are things can help you out i i would have to look at that one i'd have to look at that um, power blasting mine starting to go back up and my new website is getting noticed each more every day yep and so if you join the king of pressure wash with that discount code you also get a website as long as you are a member so don't forget about that you get the pressure washing membership 
you get the Christmas light course that is old. It's not the new course. The new course is on christmaslights.io. It is the old course. Um, how to start and grow your business. Um, you get you can have a pressure washing site or a the template um, Christmas light sites. Both of them are templates that come with it. Um, and then you get the bonus is every Monday night. The real bonus is the best bonus of it. It's worth way more than $82 a month um, is the Monday night Zoom calls. That's where you get tons and tons of value. I promise you, you get tons and tons of value. Um, you guys got all kind of questions tonight. Uh, where did I lose my questions at? You guys got lots of questions. <laughs> uh, there we go. Has anyone tried door to door after the winter? I have more free time to spend than cash for Google and Facebook ads. Yes. Door to door can work very well. I have a couple out of Springfield, Ohio. Um, and they do, they started off door to door. They had zero money. They started, they both worked out in the factory of a $20 an hour job. They quit their job in cold Turkey and started a pressure washing business. Um, and they door knocked. Um, the biggest thing I would tell you about door knocking is, is find the right neighborhoods. Go where all the houses are clean. Don't go where the houses are nasty, dirty, green nastiness because they're not going to buy from you. Um, you know, a lot of times we see these vinyl houses and our eyes are like this because look how dirty this house is and they're not your customers. You know, when you pull in the neighborhood and everybody's mowing their own grass, they have older vehicles, that's probably not your customer. There's very few people in that neighborhood that's your customer. And so, you know, as Matt would go out there and he started listening to me, he's like, I'm going to do what Jason said. His girlfriend had like two houses sold before noon and he had uh, like one house sold before noon because they went where all the clean houses are. Because where the clean houses are, people want to keep them clean. And so that's why it is important so that you go find the right neighborhoods. Hey, Jason, do you have a blueprint for EDDM? Um, the blueprint is, is if you're going to do it, if you're only going to send out one EDDM, don't do it. you got to plan. If you're going to send out 10,000 EDDM, you're going to do five, five mailers of 2,000 apiece. You got to at least send four to six mailers for mailers to work properly. If you don't send the four to six and you only send one or two, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. So that is the blueprint of it. And basically, you got to come up with your design. Um, you can go to moneybushes.com. They'll print it off for you. You can go to other places and they'll print it for you. Um, when you get them all printed, you got to put them in 50 or 100, or 100, um, 50. Uh, stacks of 50 or stacks of 100. Um, and then once you do that, you got to take them to the post office. The post office is a nightmare. No matter what post office you go to, no matter how many times you go to it, they're going to look at you like you got 10 eyes and you got to print off the paper that goes with it. And that pays for the shipping or the, the delivery. And then it goes from there. I price my jobs like I could get into a car wreck on the way there. How much weight have you lost so far? Well, I lost almost 75 pounds, but I've gained some of it back. So I'm not on the down right now. <laughs> funny, funny guy. Funny, funny guy. Uh, don't do that, what he just said. Um, I do bundle, say, drive house, sidewalk for one set price. Yep. How were you doing your email marketing? More details on that, if you don't mind. So getting a list, um, way we got our list was scraping the um, some of the national boards of the, like, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like um, the National Boards of of um, Property Managers, National Boards of HOAs. And a lot of times they have a lot of the names of each individual in there. And so if we paid a guy on Fiverr and he would go and scrape those names for us and that would get us our list. 
And then we would sit the, and we would run it through a verification to make sure those are good emails. And then we would send out emails. You don't want to put no links in them or very little links in those emails or they'll go straight to spam. No, no links are better than some links. And so that's what we want to do. And then the other thing is to, um, you know, you want to keep it short. You don't want to be like we do, blah, 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 spewing a bunch of stuff out. These property managers are busy and they don't have time for all that crap. So they, you got to get to the point. It's kind of like the yard signs. Pressure washing. That's what we do, right? And they know the rest of it. So I guess I don't understand people can't build a rig. No, there's a lot of people that can't. I pick up the head of the HOA just by asking a homeowner for their contact info. And I offer to clean the pool area for free in trade of hanging a sign in the pool area. That's not bad. Um, I'm also opening a small shop here soon. <clears throat> if advertising equipment Kim doesn't work, then we all need to quit working. Yeah. Equipment and chemicals. Buying all the chemicals and equipment don't get you. I have a QR review card on every card. Yeah, I had one. I had a whole bunch of them made, and I don't know where they went. I had, I just had a bunch of them made, but I don't know what I did with them. Somebody needs to reach up in the sky and turn off that cold weather. Well, the next week is not supposed to, this week, for the next whole week, it's not supposed to rain. And so it's supposed to be in the 50s and 60s, which that'll make the grass still grow and that will get people outside here. <clears throat> Don't just talk about your business and your equipment. Talk about their lives. <laughs> Ask questions and answer questions. Be personable make them enjoy your company and make them feel good you know <laughs> richard i'm not disagreeing with you at all i'm 100 percent. you know how hard this is for people to do because everybody wants to go spew garbage about i do this and this and this and this and, and i can do that and this and this and that and that and it's all about you and nobody cares about you you, you got to ask them questions you got to get them talking. You got to say how awesome they are because they don't care about you. Nobody in the world cares about you. I care about you. I want you to be successful, but I'm just letting you know, you know, most people don't care. They don't care about what your equipment is. They don't care what you can do. And just what he said, you know, the reason why I teach the disc program is this right here. So I have two, I, I've got two in-person classes coming up, KPW train. And there's a reason why I do the, there's a reason why I do the disc program and the love languages because he had said he had over a $2,000 average ticket. I think it was because when you learn about the person, you can sell to the person for the five minutes at the end of it. And you know exactly how to sell to them. You know that if they're an S, that they're going to, they don't want to be pushed. But you know, if they're a D, you know what to do, right? And so, you know, if their love language is gifts, you give them a little extra. You clean the extra porch or something. If you know their love language is touch, when you go to give them a quote, you touch them, right? These are things that set you apart. These are how you get those two, $3,000 average tickets because people want to buy from people. And guess what? That's what you have to do. And so this is how you're able to get your average ticket up. If you're going to do in-person quoting, you've got to go out there and get this done. You got to, I promise you, you have to go out there and do this because if you don't, you're going to be wasting your time. And so don't just talk about your business and your equipment. Talk about them and their lives. You know, if you don't know their husband's name, their kids' names, their dog's names, their grandkids' names, by the time you leave that house, you didn't do a good job. Read this book. And he talks about how they go 
and you have to learn everything about that person, right? And you get a point for every time you get the, the husband's name, you get another point if you know the kid's name, right? And who comes home with the most points is probably going to win. And so this is why this is very important. When people call to do pressure washing, it's not about the pressure washing. There's probably another pain point that you don't know. And when you find that pain point, guess what? They'll buy from you. They will buy from you even if there's a guy cheaper than someone else. Because you don't have to be the cheapest. People are like, I'm the cheapest. I want to be the highest, right? And when you're the highest, you will win. Even with the people giving me a one thumbs down. Question, are reviews worth more if they're post pictures with the comment or is the review the same? It Pictures are definitely helps you out a lot. I give them a $20 Starbucks coffee if they put me, uh, let me put a money bush in the yard and give me a Google review. Trailer power washing, 300 tote for water, 100 gallon chemical tank and a 12 volt pump and a 12 volt battery plumbing it and i guess i must be a dummy because i've been using it for four years straight no you're no dummy it's just some people aren't very good at it how are you transferring sh from drum to a um, batch thing? i just used an old uh, 12 volt that wasn't working very good like the old fat boys what i would always use and just have a short hose and you can turn it on that way. You can do it with, um, DJ has two cam locks on it, so you can cam lock it on with a valve valve, so that way it doesn't leak out. I always try to push my customers to upload with images. That's good. Google check-in thing, he's meaning mentioning your location on the job. I'm scared to see what my new setup and truck is going to cost me to build. A hundred gazillion dollars. Can you, one of you guys type gutter cleaning Louisville, Kentucky, and tell me where I'm ranking? My company is Clocks Gutter Cleaning. Clocks and Gutter Cleaning. You're wrapping it. Oh my gosh. Organic side, and he's out of Mount Sterling. I know you've seen my little setup. The new flatbed truck, once and done. Nice. Uh, my goal is 200 reviews this year, Jason. Google my business. Yeah, Michael, he's actually on the other side of Lexington, so he's not that far from you. Uh, tomorrow's 23 degrees in the morning. Yep, so it's going to get cold. Uh, when you say package deals, do you mean like an option estimate or package estimate? I find when they want a lot of things done, sometimes the package don't fit exactly which services they want. Well, then you make it fit, right? Whatever they want, hey, that's package A. And then package B is not, you know, some extra, you know, is down here. So you just kind of got to make it what it is. It is so easy to upsell when you are on the property and let them know um, that while you are there and don't have to come back, it will be cheaper. Ask discovery questions and they will tell you their problem. Build a rapport, do high quality, hassle free work to achieve retention. Don't make it difficult to work with you. <coughs> a lot of times people want to, you know, jump through 20 hoops just to get a quote. Well, nobody's going to get a quote from you if you got to jump through 20 hoops. So, keep it simple you got to keep it simple the simpler the better people over profit is our motto and on all of our new wraps coming this month Woohoo! let's go 2024 thank you for the super chat um cleaning what's your guys motto water raises all boats short brief about about you so customers know who they are dealing with stop and listen to the customers and learn more about them and feel the love language and body signs knowing how to read helps yep i downstream with a gx 690 but want to get a 12 volt for just pre-treating concrete and fences 
if you don't know how to read those signs, then you're losing a lot of sales and losing customers' interest. A very king of concrete washing. Great content tonight. So again, I do have two in-person trainings coming up, one on West Coast and one on East Coast, one here in Cincinnati and one on the other side. You can go to kpwtrain.com. Again, if you put in um, in the discount code 1717 um, for King of Pressure Wash, that will get you um, 17% off. Um, till the end of this month is when I'm running it till. So I am cutting a date off. Um, if you want to know when I go live and if you don't, if you don't want this, don't hit stop on me later. Um, you can text the word King K I N G to eight, five, nine, six, nine, six, one, one, zero, one. And every time I go live, I will send a text out. Um, so that way, you know, that I am going live. I will put the, um, the link in here one more time so it makes it easy for you. Um, but if you want the, um, again, 17% off for St. Patty's Day, means that it is, um, means that it is Green Day today, we, you can have 17% off. Starting next year, approximately, when do you come with all the fall training? Um, so I am trying to work on that right now to get, um, I've got some of the Christmas light dates up. Um, I, I will be doing, I've got two Christmas lights up right now. So if you want to go check those out, christmaslights.io, um, and you'll find them there. Um, I just got a downstream injector kit and it has a 2.1 injector. I have a 4.4 gallon a minute. Should I stay with the 2.1 or should I go with the 2.1 will work for you. Um, it will be fine. Um, but other than that, I hope you all have an amazing night, an amazing week. Um, again, we are getting into season. We're getting really close. I did mow my grass last week. There was a lot of people mowing their grass this week. And so I always say, once you start mowing that grass week after week, that is when the phone is going to blow up. So right now it's still a little bit cold. So the grass isn't where we want it to be a hundred percent to get people out there looking. But like this weekend, it didn't rain all weekend. So people out grilling, people out doing yard work which is amazing for you because that will get your phone to ring. And so don't forget to keep going and making sure that you are um, getting those yard signs out, getting your Facebook posts, doing, getting your five-star reviews. Again, all of those things help your business to keep that phone ringing, right? The more you can do of that, the more your phone will ring, and that's the goal. The more your phone rings, the more likely you are able to get to that $1,500 uh, a day. And so with that, I hope you all have an amazing week this week. And if you need anything, you can text me at that number 2-859-696-1101, and I will answer questions on there if you text it. Don't try to call it because it's going to go straight to voicemail. I don't have it hooked up to nothing. Um, it might take me a little bit to get back to you, but I will try to answer your questions as all I can. Um, so... Sean, you keep that crap up north, five inches of snow tomorrow, you keep it up there. So with that, I hope you all have an amazing week and we'll see you all later.